Hello everyone, hi, welcome to our live. We will be kickstarting this live at 4.30 and today we're going to be talking about our upcoming spiritual healing retreat. Um, I'm waiting for a few more people to join me and then we will start. Just joining us from Spiritual Vacations. Simaji, can you are you there yet? There. Hello. 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 Very good. I can well. So what time is it where you are right now? Eleven twenty seven. Eleven twenty seven. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll start officially in the next three minutes. I have a few people waving at us. Hello, everyone. And I'm going to have a few more people joining us. Right. Ah, Ma, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can see you. I can hear. Very good. Oh wow, technology. Wow. Thank you. Thank happy you. birthday, Seema Ji. <laughs> wow, technology is great, isn't it? When it works the first time around. <laughs> but you, this is my first proper live. Uh, with, thank yes, you. congratulations. I feel like I've achieved something today. <laughs> Many more to Many come. More to come. So we told people we're officially starting at 4.30 UK times. So two minutes. Simaji, where are you? Are you? It looks beautiful where you well. are. Yeah. Wow. The, is also the weather nice. looks nice as well. We've you... got pretty, pretty good weather oh. ourselves. Not bad. <laughs> yes. We've got yeah, nice maybe warm weather here hot. at the moment. Maybe a little bit too hot, but uh, it's... at least you've got the beach near you as well. Yes, so that's so I have got the beach. I can't complain. I'm looking forward to doing parts of the retreat on the beach when we <laughs> yes, do it. Yes, absolutely. Me too. I think it'll be really good. And the beach, is... yeah, and Brighton as well. I think. Right. Okay. Shall we make a start? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. So today yes. we're all here talking about our upcoming retreat in Bournemouth. So I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about the the where, the when, uh, the logistics side of it. And then what I plan to do is speak to all of you about the how, which is the more important part is how we're going to do this. And what is it that we're going to do here? So I'll come to you um all three of you one by one i've got a bunch of questions here myself so i can ask those questions and if anybody else has questions then i, I can ask those okay ready yeah all right so where is it um well firstly when is it so it starts on friday the 29th the 30th of june rather so friday 30th of june uh, Saturday 1st of July and Saturday uh, and Sunday 2nd of July so we have a three days retreat we'll start off in the morning um, of Friday so around eight o'clock um, and we will conclude in the in the evening uh, late evening of Sunday so each day there will be a series of sessions uh, starting with morning meditation um, you know, yantra making, a lot of other activities. We'll have two breaks, one for lunch, one for dinner, and then we'll have some fun, light, informative, and interesting uh, evening activity every day. Where is it? It's in the sunny Bournemouth, which is where I am. Uh, and we are going to be at the Russell Court Hotel, which is a hotel which is very close to Bournemouth Pier. It's very centrally located in Bournemouth Town Centre. 
Um, we will be at Russell Court Hotel. It's owned by um, a wonderful Indian family who are very welcoming and who are really excited about having us all there for this retreat. So we're going to be there um, at the Russell Court Hotel for all three days. They have a beautiful, spacious, bright, um room overlooking the sea that's where we will be doing all the activities every day there's rooms upstairs so those who are traveling will be staying at the hotel for that and uh, i think that covers some of the logistical stuff if there's any specific questions i can answer those later so now i'm going to come to the how are we doing this retreat which is all about um, spiritual healing and rebalancing. So Ma, I'm going to come to you first. So this retreat is all about balancing of the five elements. Can you start by telling us what are the five elements? Yeah, five elements are the earth, water, fire, air and space, Akash. These are five elements. So, yeah. yeah. And how are these how are these kind of present in our human body? Because, you know, you, we don't see this, the space, we don't see the water. How are they yeah. in our body? <laughs> because earth is a solidity. Our body is solid by <clears throat> fleshes, bones. Uh, so that represents all the nadis, everything which is solid in our body, that is earth element. And what is liquid, uh, that is water element, uh, like blood, semen, whatever. And uh, what is the fire <clears throat> that the digestion power and the, it makes the personality that is fire element and the air is the pran, vayu. So, and that rotate all the things in the body that is air element and all kind of knowledge which we have that is uh, by the Akash element. Knowledge represents Akash, Akash element. Okay, okay. And so what happens when these things get imbalanced in our body and we have more of one and less of the other? What happens? Yeah, if earth element is uh, balanced, then person is very grounded and uh, they believe give and take policy and open hearted and enthusiastic loving but if this earth element is not balanced that they have no sense of humor first thing mm -hmm. and very weak and confused personality and uh, feel very loneliness they are because they don't believe give and take and share the problems so this is the earth and the water if the water element is balanced then a person can control on full control on their emotions, understanding. Person is very creative and in strong intuitions they have. And if this is not balanced, then person become very judgmental and overthinker. And they have high expectations from others. Mm -hmm. And can depress very easily okay. and okay. in the fire if fire element is balanced then they have very strong willpower this is, fire is our third chakra that is willpower and they can do miracles and they mm. sleep very less maximum four to six hours in 24 hours and very creative persons and if this is unbalanced then they are very slow and avoid take responsibilities. <laughs> Effort to trying new things. They never try mm. new things. And they have uh, digestion related issues, problems. And they always seek the help. And mm. some uh, confused personality, you can say, in the mm. So elements put yeah. into an they yeah and Just, if air yeah if balance yeah. then great uh, teachers mm -hmm. and command on the words great memory become mm -hmm. source of the inspiration and yeah. if this is in balance then they love to sleep all the time and <laughs> lack of clarity in their words lack mm -hmm. of confidence 
and mm. unknowingly they hurt others. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And if mm. Akash element is balanced, then they become the great spiritual teachers <clears throat> because Akash gives us the knowledge and mm. great memory and great command mm. of speech mm. and very clarity. They can, they have the uh, give power of the reasoning. They can mm. give the uh, solution with the reason. And mm. if unbalanced, mm. then not good in communication. Their communication mm. is very weak and they are shy, introvert, and uh, uh, they can't take decisions. Mm. And they have lack of confidence. Okay. So these are the five elements in our body because all knowledge gives from the Akash. Mm -hmm. I think what you're saying and what I'm understanding is it's not just physical issues, ailments, it's also personality and how we, you know, how we conduct ourselves. All of these things are related to elements. So how, how can we find out, um, uh, if these elements are not balanced in our body? How, how do we know? Yeah, because if fire element is not balanced, uh, then people become very lethargic. And if this is slightly uh, more, then they become very aggressive. Mm. Uh, very short tempered quickly okay. they get angry so okay. these kind of problems in all the elements them. i will explain in the workshop okay. okay so if we so if they observe their symptoms they can find out yeah, what they can find out yeah. behavior so, is yeah be from behavior okay. if uh, behavior. Yeah, if as I told you, they are not give and take personality. Mm -hmm. They feel very depressed if the water element is low. Quickly they depress. Because this and kind so of and uh, good not they want to tell something, but they have no yeah. words. They are not very clear in speech to so air and water like this. So my I've got one more question for you, uh, and then I've got lots of other questions uh, for Seema Ji and, and, and Neva. Um, so once we find out, we, we know what our problems are, we can observe our symptoms. How do we then, and, and this is probably the most important thing, how do we, and is there a way we can rebalance these elements? Yeah, there are a lot of ways to balance our elements. Uh, in Yantra, when we are coloring, we visualize the each gate that we are healing our earth element, we are healing. So uh, the power of mind can do mm. the miracles. Mm -hmm. So we can do from that. And there mm -hmm. is a technique, we can keep the water and do the finger. Lot of ways and the pressure points, the mudra. Mm. With the mudra, mm -hmm. with the chanting, with the because we have 700 uh, ending points of the nadis in our soul mm -hmm. and palm and the backbone so we can uh, easily get that uh, element from there if uh, water element if we walk on the water and uh, take water in our hand and lie, lie down then we can receive mm -hmm. in our, our body so there are a lot of many ways that uh, and mm -hmm. we are doing in this workshop those all treatments then how we can receive uh, the energy of the these elements how the water fire everything we will mm -hmm. going to be mm -hmm. do practical because we can do this workshop on the uh, zoom but mm -hmm. then we cannot only we can tell but not the, show the practical way that easily mm -hmm. we can because all the problems in our body because of the elements if mm. yeah, our skin is not good, hair is losing, loss lo and digestion problem. So mm. there we can do in the workshop, we can yeah. show that how in your regular life you can do yeah. these things. And once in a month or once in a year, you go outside and uh, do this workshop on the seaside because sea water is a healing. Uh, mm -hmm. have a lot of healing powers because uh, potassium, magnesium, iodine and calcium, they are there and their cells are like that because in our brain and everywhere, our body made by the small cells. 
and uh, when we go to the doctor they check with the machine that our cell have the light or not light if not they feel there is a big disease is going to be happen like cancer or something but in the sea mm. side you can receive that light that energy from the sea water so, mm. so that's mm. why mm. we uh, we are going to do this workshop near the sea yeah so yeah. automatically healer and mm -hmm. the ayurveda also says that panch mahabhuti is a greatest thing to heal our body in a holistic way in a natural way yeah natural absolutely way. Yeah. and i think the one of the reasons this you know we we've chosen this location is uh, being by the sea you you connect with all five elements naturally because there an abundance around you and you can absorb them much much better so uh, so uh, yeah absolutely agree thank you ma i'm going to come back to you but seema ji just ma touched on the ayurveda just there um i know you know a lot about ayurveda so can you uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how ayurveda and elements are connected yeah ayurveda also says that we are made up of the five elements and the five elements are around us also so because you can heal yourself with what you are made of that is why the best thing to heal yourself is through the elements and the elements are the things which are then divided into the vata pitta kapha which are the three humors and so basically vata pitta kapha is also the elements only but in a the elements are the functions of the cells and vata pitta kapha is how it works so the cellular structure is made of the five elements but the functional structure of the cells is done through the vata pitta kapha okay so that's how ayurveda is basically only treating you through your through your elements only and checking you with the elements only and diagnosis okay. in ayurveda is made by the vata pitta kapha which is the elements mm -hmm. and treatment is done by the six tastes that's a very interesting part that the treatment is the six tastes through six tastes we treat and we check the disease through the elements so it's okay. very like all around the elements only ayurveda yeah. so in this workshop we will be doing the the way the pulse check for everyone to check their vata pitta kapha and and you know that the chakras and energies are blocked so once they have that knowledge you know you talk you talked about the six tastes so what exactly will we be covering in the workshop uh, in, in terms of foods or knowledge that people can then take away to heal themselves in a natural way on in a regular basis and make it a routine yeah i think there is not a uh, not a lot of ayurveda in the workshop but definitely because food is there yeah so in a in a way ayurveda is there and we can easily see uh, once you get it checked and you know which element is out of order you can work on it through food through the six tastes like uh, the vata people should have sweet sour and salty more not so much pungent astringent and uh, bitter so this we can uh, share a small table it's like this uh, uh, dosha does not eat should not eat this this dosha should eat this so we can have a small uh, layout for the people so that they can understand that this is how they can control or balance their elements through food also but bua will be telling a lot of things how to balance the elements with the elements around in the physical yeah. form and ayurveda yeah. will tell how to balance the element through food that's why food is very important in ayurveda very important very important and ma also touched on yantra making uh, as a as a as a means to balance the element i know you've been working a lot with yantras for a long time how does yantra making help with element balancing you know we, we are basically what we think so the mind is very important and yantra basically work on the mind on the left and right hemisphere <clears throat> it balances the hemispheres and that's how you get to balance yourself so making mm -hmm. a yantra creating a yantra then coloring a yantra is a process in which you are balancing your mind and when the mind is balanced then naturally all the elements will also come under control so it's a yeah. it's a uh, way to like you have to work from all the sides you can't just balance through the yantras you can't just mm -hmm. balance through the physical elements you just can't balance through food you have to it's a, you know uh, balancing <clears throat> the elements is a continuous process you cannot mm -hmm. do it uh, just one day or once a month you have to be in constant practice of balancing your elements and the knowledge how mm -hmm. to balance is that's why it's so important and it's good to have 
a few aspects of it like ayurveda and yantra and mantra and balancing the elements physically so then you can constantly work on yourself because health is a continuous process yeah. not a one day thing mm, that's what we get that with also that you it's not that you just study it and you and you eat the balanced food once you have to do it continuously every day and the doshas will also keep mm. changing keep uh, variations keep coming so mm. you have to keep <clears throat> in touch with yourself and uh, know yourself which dosha is going out of balance which element is out of balance and work on it so it's a continuous process and the more you know how to do it with small small tips and things the better it is the easier it is yeah i agree i agree ma did, did you want to add something to that uh, just uh, because uh, seema uh, said vat pitta and kaf so i want to clear uh, to all that what is vat vat what is kaf what is pitta vat yeah. means air and the akash element the combination of that is vat and the pitta is the fire and the water combination of that that is pitta and kapha is the earth and the water element so the combination okay. of these five elements is the vat pitta and kapha uh, uh, so as what you told that the, yeah, yeah. What, that's uh, what the, the, how the humors are made yeah. that's yeah. useful thank you um so i'll come back to to you see maji i've got uh, more questions for you but i want to come to you neva um Neva I, I know mm-hmm. you are a guru of all types of healing you, you obviously run out of inner joy and you work with varied healing practices and this workshop is about spiritual healing so i was really interested to know what if healings are mm-hmm. and the ones specifically that you think will be connected to rebalancing the elements that we will get to see in this retreat Yes. So if we ram ram everybody. So if we look at a person and we look at them as a diamond and you look at all the different facets of the diamond. Like Seema ji correctly said there's not just one thing that is going to balance everything. We are a soul being <clears throat> having a human experience. In that human experience we need to balance our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual lives so physical could be through our food through the practices of what we're doing with the yantra making through what i'll be bringing to the retreat which is a lot of mantra chanting and chanting and soul songs um so i can sing the soul song for each of the organs to balance that particular organ for example the liver carries a lot of fire energy if it's out of balance which then creates a lot of anger in a person the kidneys are to do with the water element and if that is out of balance and that comes from the basic psychosomatic emotion of grief um again the lungs are related to the kidneys the lungs rule the kidneys so if there's been a lot of grief in a person's life and they haven't dealt with it those two organs can be out of balance um but everything comes from here the head the mental part and my job is simply to calm the mind and to bring you back into your soul and we're going to be doing it in this retreat through art through yantra painting the coloring the balancing of the left and right brain hemispheres because at the end we all want to come back to zero point the singularity of who we are as a soul being and then we're going to be doing it through the lovely ayurvedic food through numerology physically through yoga we're going to go on the beach i've got a beautiful earthing ceremony which is about earthing all the souls back into the mother into the mother earth a lot of what i do is based around shri vidya which is the auspicious knowledge of mother earth and um so she's completely in balance it's only human beings who mm-hmm. take her out of balance she's the prakasha she's the 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 light and she's love and so what a what a lot of healing contains is how in my mental life am i going to balance how am i going to love myself more what do i need to bring into my yeah. daily routine and that can come from my food my emotions how i dress how i speak how i think how am i hearing something and then from that how am i projecting it on to all around us because everybody around us is a projection of what we're being inside us 
our world is a projection of our state of being. So I'll be using my lovely sing my F sharp uh, singing bowl here, which is to do with mm. the higher heart. Because our higher heart and our thymus gland, once that is opened, the Kundalini will rise straight to the Sahastra Chakra, the crown, the Akash, as Ma said, where all knowledge will come. But the knowledge comes as wisdom, not as bookish knowledge, or it comes as wisdom. And we're all unique beings. Um, if we look at my hand, it's all got its different shapes, sizes of the fingers, but we're all one. We're all linked with one, one source. So my take on the retreat is to bring all of those aspects of you back to you, to your heart, and then for you to shine your inner joy, your light onto everybody. Because when you do that, when you give yourself permission to do that, to shine your own light, automatically all those aspects of yourself are already coming into balance because everything starts from the mind, from the initial thought because the thought uh, thoughts are thoughts come from the mind which lead to feelings which go into the body and the feelings and emotions then have reactions into your body which can have health emotional whatever imbalances so we're bringing it all together as a holistic frame so I'll, I'll be doing a lot of mantra chanting if we go from the root mantra, the bead, lam, vam, ram, yam, you know, we're going all the way up. So I'll be doing a lot of chanting with the singing bowl. And then the other thing I'll be doing is the silent energy transmission because the highest frequency is always in silence. It's not in the words. And it's something I do, it's a silent gaze and we'll be ending our days with that. So when people are Coming down ready for a good night's sleep because the body needs the rest. And for you to then to go into your dream time and your Turiya states and other states of being, you need to calm down. So we'll just be doing a silent gaze and then everybody can rest at the end of the day before we start the next yoga session on the beach <laughs> early in the morning. Let's keep the so looking what forward to sharing this workshop. space with all yeah. you lovely women. It's really wonderful, yeah. Yes. I'm really yes. excited. I'm so honored yeah. to be with all of you. I know so. it will be an experience. Just all of us being together, I think that will that will create magic in itself. Before I end yes. my questions, just the last one for for Simaji. So um, Neva mentioned about the numerology. So you will be taking a numerology session. I think it'll be a wonderful opportunity for everyone to ask you questions about what their numbers mean for them, their destiny. So I'm personally looking forward to that. Is there anything more you want to add about the numerology session and what it is for people who don't really know about numerology much? Well, numerology is a behavior science. Sometimes people think that you can predict something. All you can predict is how a person will react in a situation according to the number, because the numbers are related to planets. So the planets have characteristics and they govern us whether we agree to it or not whether we believe it or not but the planets are there and we are there and there's a constant interchange of energy through uh, uh, us uh, uh, with the planets and they influence us and that's how we can uh, like see how a person will how his behavior will be in a certain situation having certain kind of number and i think the best is that we'll uh, disclose everything there only when people starting telling that i'm this number and that number but it's basically a behavior sign and it's, it's uh, going through the planets. Yeah. yeah. Characters Thank you. Planets are how they present in human beings. Thank you. I think that's all my questions. Um, I know there's a few people who, who are watching us live. If you have any questions, please type them in the, in the comment box. I would be very happy to ask any questions that you have. I hope we've, given you enough information to give you a full flavor of what this workshop will include. There are other aspects that we are bringing to it as well. Um, there are other people who can join us for this um, live today. There's Brahmananda who will be doing the meditation session. There's Pavnaji. So there are other people who are not with 
us on this live, but if you have any questions for them either, we're, we're very happy to cover those. Let's say if there's anyone who wants to type any questions or have we answered any, any potential questions. <laughs> We've got... And please come and join, join us, everybody, because it's, it's, it, it's going to be like a soul, mind, body holiday, which everybody needs, you know, and it, it takes you deeper into yourself because the whole journey for everybody really is to know thyself, to know who you are uh, on, 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 in, in that different aspects of the diamond I was speaking about. And it's just such a beautiful journey. So please, um, somebody's asking, please arrange a session regarding the seven elements in numerology. Well, it will all be in our retreat. <laughs> <clears throat> It'll all be in the retreat. Please uh, let me know if you want more details on how to join. Um, you can send me a message or you can email me um, on info at goldrainevents.co.uk. I'm just typing that in the chat window so you can see it. Uh, I'm just doing that now. So if you want to copy that email address. Or you can ping me on Instagram as well. One question somebody asked me was, will you be providing the um, papers and rulers and compasses or did you want people to bring those sorts of things? So the answer those? to that is yes, we will have a lot of spares there. Uh, a lot of people who practice yantra making or any sort of art have their own equipment and, and their favorite ruler or their favorite compass. So if people want to bring it, that will be great. At least they can use their things. But if somebody hasn't done yantra making before and doesn't have the stationery or doesn't know where, what to get and where to get, then we will have plenty of spares there to lend. Shall I end off with a little uh, sound yeah. thing just to make it win? Because we need to go on to Facebook as well. So just close your eyes, everybody, and just you can put your hand on your heart. Um... It's very peaceful and I love the sound of the birds that was going with the bells. It's coming from behind the very much here. Right, I think this is it. Are we done? Anything else anybody wishes to add? Okay. Yeah, Thank you everyone who joined. Teaching Sorry, yes, special my... yantras, special yantra of five element. So yeah. everyone get the benefit to making that. Yeah. So if you need more information on how to join this retreat, please email me. I have just posted my email address or you can ping me on Instagram. Uh, and I hope to see many of you there. Thank you.